Okay. Welcome back, class, to part two of language arts. Still continuing from where we left off with the first 12 questions. Now today, now we're still going to continue with the next section of the practice tests for language arts. Now we're going to be working with questions 13 through 18. Now we're looking at sick building syndrome. All right, for time's sake, we won't read the, the paragraphs. There will be a few questions where we'll have to go back and read it, but we can read just that specific paragraph if we have to. Thirteen. Sentence one says, "Do you feel often sick when you're when you when at your workplace?" Which correction should be made to sentence one? Answer: Come after sick. Do you often feel sick when at your workplace? Was there a slight pause to that? Nope. So it can't be A. B. Change sick to sickly. Do you often feel sickly? Doesn't sound right. C. Replace your with your. Yes, the answer is C. Because your is a is a contraction for you are. Do you often feel sick when when at you are workplace? No. So the word your talking about where? Your workplace. Because the workplace belongs to who? You. Hence, your possessive. Okay? 13. Number 14. Do these symptoms, do these symptoms seem to disappear once you leave work magically? Well, what the most effective revision of sentence three would include which group of words? Okay. Okay, and what do you think your answer is going to be? The answer is A. Disappear magic. Do these systems seem to disappear magically once you leave work? And a lot of times, do these symptoms like coughing, sneezing, runny nose, do they seem to magically disappear when you leave your workplace and you're at home? Possibly. Okay, so the answer is A. Sentence 4 says, if so, we may be working in a sick building. Which correction should be made to sentence four? Is it A, replace A with the, B, insert a comma after working, C, replace we with you, or D, replace may with R? I give you a few, give you about five or ten seconds. Okay, you should have picked the answer C. Replace we with you. Because if you look back at sentence three, do these systems seem to disappear once you, you, okay? So that means sentence four, if so, you may be working in a sick building. Remember now, whatever person you write that you start off with, it has to be that same person, part of speech, throughout your whole article. If you write in first person, it has to be first person throughout. Whether you use a singular noun or plural nouns, pronouns, but if it's, but this here looks like it's mostly in second person, the word you, okay? Now, let's look at number 16. On the other hand, an older 
isn't necessarily a mean to the, to the syndrome. Okay, those are the answers. Okay, is it A, change older to older building? B, change isn't to aren't? C, insert a comma after immune? Or D, replace two with two? I'll give you about five to ten seconds to see what you think the answer is. The answer should be A. On the other hand, an older building isn't necessarily mean to the syn syndrome. The reason why the answer A is because, on the other hand, an older what? We need a noun. Remember, a sentence has to have a noun and a verb. Here's my verb, so I better have a noun. And building is a noun, because remember a noun is what? Is a person, place, or thing and a building is a thing. Why is it not B? Because building is singular. Singular subject, but it have a singular verb. C, insert a comma after you mean, remember, to the syndrome is a prepositional phrase. You can have that. And is it B, replace two with two? No. Nope. Because two is a prepositional word. Okay, number 17. Okay, even if they originally opened to let in fresh air, added insulation, caulking, and weather stripping at a later date may have made the windows airtight. What is the best way to write the underlying portion of the sentence? Even if they, is it A, them? B, it, C, the building, or D, the windows? I give you about five or ten seconds to come with the answer. Okay, the answer should be D, the windows, because the antecedent pronoun word of they is unclear. If you're looking at it, they, what is they? Could they be chairs? Could they be uh, a desk maybe? Bricks? We don't know. At the end, we finally figure out what they were. The windows. And also, too, sometimes the clues in the sentence can also tell you what they are. For example, adding insulation, caulking, and weather stripping to keep the window pane airtight. Okay, good. Okay, now it's 18. Number 18, sentence 14. The deadly gas carbon monoxide can seep into a building air through an improperly ventilated garage or a leaky duct. What do this correct answer could be? A, delete the comma after gas. B, insert a comma after monoxide. Replace can seep with is seeping or replace improperly with improper. I give you about five seconds, ten seconds. Okay. The answer is you should have selected A. Because the deadly gas is already modifying what? The carbon monoxide. And everybody knows that carbon monoxide is an odorless, invisible, tasteless gas. Okay? So, deadly gas is modifying what? Carbon monoxide. So, there should be no comma. All right, now we are going into another.